What's going on gamers? It's your boy Daily Tactics here back with some more Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2 and the Crusades are underway today. The Crusader army has landed in Egypt and are trying to take over the territory around these pyramids. They've got a total of 2,070,000 soldiers behind them. They have heavy knights, archers, footmen, and 100 catapults and they are going to be going up against Persians, Egyptian spearmen, and Egyptian warriors, and they also have 100 catapults, but in total they have 3.5 million soldiers. This is to balance the two sides, who are not equal in strength. The Crusaders are a little bit stronger in terms of their uh, actual units that they are given in this game, so that's why they have less troopers. But it's not only that, we are going to be having a massive tsunami tidal wave coming from the tip of the Nile over this way and cascading across the entire battlefield after three minutes here and it's already been one minute on the clock right now. I actually had this requested to me on Twitter by I believe it was Josh Metheny. So massive shout out to you Josh. He requested that we do a huge flood of the river during a battle on this map and I thought that sounded absolutely awesome. So about six million soldiers are going to be decimated by a huge tsunami here in Egypt. And the strangest part is that this isn't even that far away from reality. I believe it was either like the fifth or sixth crusade, but one of those later crusades, you know, the first three are definitely the most famous and then the fourth is pretty famous and from there on, you know, less and less is taught about the crusades because none of them really were as impactful as, uh, you know, the first three were historically. However, it was either the fifth or the sixth, I'm pretty sure, a massive crusader army actually did do a beach landing into Egypt and managed to get ashore and then they started to push their way south and the Nile flooded. Back in those days, the Nile used to flood uh, pretty much consistently during one season. And they didn't know that and the Nile flooded and resulted in basically the entire crusade failing uh, and a whole lot of death and things like that. So surprisingly, this video idea is not even that far from the truth, which I think is just really cool it just makes it all the better in total uh either way there is a massive party going on at my apartment complex right now and there is some techno music playing in the background i think i made it so my mic wouldn't pick it up i'm inside playing video games not being a nerd listening to music and having fun so hopefully it doesn't interfere with the video too much either way we are at the three minute mark currently the crusaders have 32,000 kills and the defenders have 10,000 kills, but it's about to get kind of crazy because we're going to be going ahead and spawning in a tsunami here. Let's let's do it more towards the middle here. Yeah, let's do it like right around here. All right. It hath been summoned. The great tidal wave. It approaches. Oh my god, that's actually so much more terrifying than I thought it would be. Wow. All right, the Nile River is flooding here and many soldiers are gonna get caught up in this horrible tidal wave they're actually programmed now in the game to try to run away from it however they're all getting clogged up in here and not actually capable of running away from the tidal wave that's coming on down and the flood continues to go some more guys trying to run from it over this way trying to escape the flood but the water does not care mother nature does not give a hoot about you and it is going to continue to flood on through here until the very bitter end we'll have to see if the dam ends up holding over this way because uh, you know this thing if it does flood all the way over the top that entire city below is getting flooded as well but here we go a massive current surge going through here did it kill everyone underwater here yeah just about everyone who got caught up in the middle there is dead at this point in time um but everyone else on the outskirts is totally fine <laughs> these guys under here are probably going to be dying pretty soon yeah even the heavy knights are going and they have some pretty strong health for themselves so 
Even those guys are having a little bit of a rip rip potato chip moment right there, boys. Um, these guys over here are just kind of waist deep in the water almost, uh, and they seem to be doing fine. And it looks like the dam is still holding for the time being. In fact, the top up here uh, is sort of clearing out too, and more soldiers are coming through here. But I kind of want to see the dam break, so we're going to spawn another one in here. Um, probably won't get much more kills, well, except for the foolish people who flooded in. <laughs> An aftershock has hit! A second quake! A second tsunami emerges! And both sides, yeah, both sides rushed in with more soldiers and proceeded to have those soldiers flooded yet again. Um, but let's see. Ah, the tsunami... Alright, alright, maybe we gotta spawn the tsunami further down. I wanna see it break the dam. I wanna see it break the dam. Yeah, I think we have to spawn it like here-ish, maybe. Alright. There we go. I think that'll break the dam. Oh my god, a third quake has hit the battlefield, ladies and gentlemen. We don't know how effective this quake will be. Oh my god, look at this. <laughs> oh, she over the top over this way. Oh, look at that. Look at her go. Dang, Sean. Really? Are you not going to break the dam yet? Come on. Cut. Right, we're going to spawn it right at the dam. All right, just because I, I really want to see the dam break. Oh my god, it's gonna break! The fourth tsunami is coming through! Oh my god, that's insane. Oh my god, that looks so cool. What the heck? Okay, let's go. This was the effect I was looking for. Oh, she flooding though. Oh, she flooding though. Oh my god, it's just swamping down on both crusaders and defenders here. Oh my lord. Oh, the sweep, the Morbius sweep is occurring. Morbius caused this. Wow. Look at that. That's so dope, though. This was a great battle suggestion. A really, really fantastic battle suggestion. A really fun one, dude. Uh, looks like the water is still going to keep going here. Because it's all downhill from here, baby. And that means the water is just going to keep plunging down. That's really what that means, I guess. Um, kind of insane. <laughs> it really hasn't killed that many soldiers, though, all things considered. Uh, there's still 1.77 million Crusaders left and 3 million uh, Defenders left, so it really didn't end up killing all that many. <laughs> and the Crusaders have 105,000 kills and the Defenders have 34,000 kills, so... Yeah, I mean, it's not that effective. It was just kind of a cool battle effect, I guess, uh, that we got to see during this thing. So, so that was kind of fun. Can see some archers from back here who are firing down at some of the defenders over this way. B E A, beautiful baby. It should be drying up over this way again. Yeah, I think it is driving up over this way again. All right, we'll go ahead and let the battle play out for a little bit here. I'm thinking we do a little time lapse somewhere, um, and I think after could be a long battle so after like 20 minutes i think we're gonna spawn in another tsunami just for fun so uh we'll do a little bit of a time lapse i guess over here would be kind of cool to see just some fighting amongst these soldiers over here uh so we'll do the time lapse and then we will do another tsunami in time All right, so it's been 20 minutes, baby! And, um, actually the water did end up, uh, scooting on down this way, just really, really slowly. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do two more tsunamis, I think. Just to spice it up a little bit. First one's gonna be up here. And as of right now, 
The defenders have 2 million soldiers left, and the attackers have 1.2 million soldiers left. So at this rate, it's looking like the attackers are going to win, the Crusaders. But here comes another tsunami. Up this way, we're doing one over here. That's right, baby. One big old fat tsunami coming in hot. And uh, it should cut through both of them, although it does look like the Egyptians do have stronger numbers over here. But they should have stronger numbers just about everywhere at this point in the battle because, of course, well, they are, uh, you know, the stronger force in terms of numbers. But the uh, Crusaders do have the better units overall, so there's that as well. Uh, so either way, the Tsunami's hitting both of them pretty steadily here. Um, Crusaders over this way getting hit. Oh, look at this. They're running. They're running. They're trying to avoid that water as best they can, but then they hit this pack of folks, and uh, they're going to drown that way. Big rip. Big fat rip. All right, let's head over this way, um, where this part of the Nile has just been flooded this entire time now, I'm pretty sure, which is kind of funny. Uh, but up this way, it has dried up a spell. Just a spell, and actually both sides still pretty much hold the same area as they did at the very beginning of this battle, so let's go ahead and change that. <laughs> and here she comes. Lord help us all. Another tidal wave! Men, brace yourselves! Ah, they're not bracing. They're just admitting defeat to the wave gods Poseidon. Um, yeah, the tidal wave's going on, no one really has space to run or anything like that, and the Nile is going to reflood here, um, because it's just completely dried up at this point, at this stage in the battle, so that's kind of interesting, uh, that they're re- re-getting swooshed, <laughs> and this is like, you know, once again, how did this guy get here, by the way? Did he get, like, swept down the river or something? Uh, but this is, like, on the verge of, uh, flooding yet again, so maybe that water will trickle down and eventually uh, just overcome that damn wall yet again. Um, so I think it would be kind of interesting actually this time to do a little time lapse down here. And, uh, oh look, uh, is that water? No, no, that is water, but it's not uh, not flowing water. I think we should go ahead and watch the, uh, the dam burst over this way in a time lapse, which could, could be kind of cool. And even if it doesn't burst, we still have a pretty neat you know perspective over here of the two sides fighting. Alright, so the Nile did end up flooding the dam a little bit here. Uh, it still is. We still got a little trickle of water coming down. It doesn't seem to be damaging the units so much, but it is pretty cool actually to see them fighting in the water and stuff like that. Like, that's actually kind of a neat feature of this flooding thing is that you get like this massive water battle uh, in which the two sides are, are fighting while flooded. Killing man while underwater. Man is not built for water, and yet man fights in water. As the great philosopher said once upon a time, um, and it's pretty nice, it's pretty cool. Uh, so right now there's still 862,000 attackers and uh, 1.5 million defenders. Uh, you know, it's it's a pretty long battle. It's a pretty chunky butt. It's just pretty peak. Uh, there's no battling down here anymore. Are there dead bodies down here? Oh, yeah. Oh, there are some dead boys down here. Uh, but up here, there's still a pretty decent fight going on uh, between the medieval squires and uh, a number of the uh, Egyptians still fighting. They're fighting on, like, these body piles that are uh, managing to keep them above the head level of the water. This is what I'm talking about. This is so cool. This is so cool, the way they're like fighting through the water. It's so neat. Oh, these guys are drowning themselves to get to the battle. <laughs> if that isn't metal, I don't know what the heck is. Oh, let's see this little river crossing over here. <laughs> Look at that. That's so dope. I really dig that. Oh my god. Alright, let's let this play for a while, dude, and uh, we'll find out what ends up happening.
right, so the video is still going here, baby. We got 200,000 Crusaders left and 500,000 Defenders left. Um, and we have destroyed the Egyptian landscape here, man. It's kind of crazy. It's kind of driving me crazy. Uh, but, you know, it's still toss-up who's going to win, although I'm pretty sure it's going to be the Heavy Knights of the Crusaders. Uh, you know, they're just super powerful compared to these guys, and these guys don't outnumber them by that much anymore. Um, so, I think it's going to be the Crusaders, but you never know. You never know. I think we're done with flooding the Nile for now. Um, for now. For now. Maybe in the future. All of this battling is done. Um, I don't know if they all died to drowning or probably some of them just moved over this way. I, I have a feeling most of them probably just moved over this way to go hang out with these boys over here. Uh, but either way, we're going to let the battle run for a while longer uh, to, to get a, uh, you know, a good solution to it. To find the outcome that we have been so anticipating. So let's keep it running. Okay, it has been quite a period of time now, and it seems like the Crusaders still have 69,000 soldiers left, and uh, the Defenders have 4,000 soldiers left. Look at the sheer number of bodies across the entire battlefield here. It's absolutely insane. So many ended up dying across this entire thing. Absolute brutality at the end of the day um, but still there's some more fighting going on here and honestly this was a way closer battle than I ever could have imagined I mean in the grand scheme of things you know 68,000 troopers versus 3,000 now that's not that big of a difference between the two when we're talking about both sides having men in the millions so a very very important Impressive turn of events. The last few defenders are dying out here um, pretty rapidly now. Now they're down to 2,400 troopers. It's just a matter of crossing some T's and dotting some I's for the Crusaders. Either way, guys, I want to say thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you did enjoy it. Please be sure to hit that like button if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you have not already. And comment down below if you'd like to see some more in the future. Either way, I will see y'all in the next one. Peace! I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much. Also, if you guys want to join our private Minecraft server, all you gotta do is join as a Patreon member, a Twitch sub, or a YouTube channel member. Once you've done that, you can message me on those platforms or on Discord and I'll whitelist you on the server. It's a great time. Feel free to join.